The Korean government is set to announce how it plans to evaluate and dismiss underperforming senior officials at public institutions. Now, this push is a follow-up measure to the ongoing wage peak negotiations. Shin Se-min reports. The finance ministry is set to release the guidelines for evaluating workers at public institutions and ways to remove underperforming senior officials. The move is part of the government's normalization plan that aims to make it easier to fire employees that are not pulling their weight. Labor reform efforts have so far been focused on adopting a so-called wage peak system that allows older workers to work until later in life, but on a lower salary. The savings are then passed on to hiring younger workers. The introduction of the guidelines is considered a follow-up measure to the wage peak negotiations among unions, corporations and the government. Officials say the guidelines set for release before the end of the year will state that workers given the lowest ranking or those that don't receive assignments for a set period of time will be dismissed. However, there will be multiple screenings to ensure employees are not let go unfairly. Those workers with poor performance assessments will also have their cases looked at by an independent committee. If they decide the workers should be let go, the president will make the final call. While experts say it is difficult to evaluate workers at public institutions on a standardized guideline, unlike those in manufacturing sectors where they produce outcome in numbers and products, the voices urging for an equal evaluation protocol among private organizations is necessary. The system was implemented in 2006, but no single government employee has been dismissed for lax performance. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.